Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. All right, welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast, Tony Guerra. We're going to do glaucoma pharmacology mnemonics and uh, talk a little bit about the eye. So let's get started here. So the first thing is, what are we really doing with these treatments? And uh, the first thing we're doing is we're either decreasing aqueous humor out or we are increasing aqueous humor outflow. So we're actually decreasing the amount of the fluid or we're helping it get out of there. And the big issue is that usually this drainage canal is going to be blocked and there's just too much fluid in there. And that increases pressure, increased pressure creates damage to the optic nerve. So let's start with acute angle closure glaucoma. So there's the two types. There's open angle where we see it wide open here just before the cornea. And then there's closed angle where it's a bit sharper in the angle here. And the real issue is some form of medriasis, so pupillary dilation. And that might be that someone put in eye drops. So uh, atropine, epinephrine drops, uh, which are an anticholinergic or an adrenergic agonist respectfully. So Uh, atropine is an anticholinergic, epinephrine is an adrenergic agonist that open the eye really wide. Uh, If you go into a dark room, what happens to your eye? Well, your eye goes really wide. So got our anticholinergic bud cat here with his really wide open eyes and then excitement and stress. So if there's some kind of uh, something that makes your you know, fight or flight open up and your body's epinephrine going, then your eyes open up wide. There maybe is a crisis. So not only is the crisis causing the excitement and stress, but this is an emergency. So this acute angle closure glaucoma uh, is something that needs to be treated right away. We'll talk about some treatments uh, in a bit. So let's talk about or contrast that with open angle glaucoma. So open angle glaucoma is where this angle is still wide open. So not an emergency. Uh, This is going to be something that's a lot slower. So what's happening here is the fluid can't get out. Okay. So uh, it's just this decrease of aqueous humor outflow. And because of that outflow is not happening, Uh, we have an open angle glaucoma. So it's much slower than the acute uh, angle closure and causes could be family history, age and ancestry, Uh, myopia where you're nearsighted or elevated intraocular pressure. So the FAME mnemonic, F for family history, A for age ancestry, M for myopia, and then E for elevated intraocular pressure. But again, a much slower thing. And when we talk about what happens, you know, what you would expect, I was just thinking of the the DC Metro and anyone that's ridden the DC Metro can, you know, knows this kind of tunnel that, uh, you know, it's just iconic, uh, these concrete um, tunnels and you can't help but look down the line and you can't really see what's going on on the left. You can't really see what's going on on the right. So not only you know do you have this kind of tunnel vision, but you know it's a really a synonym for losing that peripheral vision. So if you're a glass half full person, you know you have tel- tunnel vision. You can still see what's in the middle. If you're a glass half empty person, you can't see to the sides. So just but uh, peripheral vision, tunnel loss of peripheral vision, tunnel vision, uh, those are synonyms really. Well, let's use this uh, A, B, C, D, and uh, two P's glaucoma stems as a way to uh, memorize uh, which medications work how. So first, we could decrease the aqueous humor production. We can use an alpha agonist like bromonidine. And this works both to you know, 
decrease aqueous production or increase aqueous outflow. Uh, beta blockers like timolol also decrease aqueous humor. Carbonic and hydrase inhibitors, so acetazolamide, dorzolamid, uh, really acetazolamid, this is IV, uh, dorzolamid is the eye drop. And then a diuretic like mannitol, it's a little more complicated, but it made the ABCD mnemonic work, uh, but uh, mannitol as well. So when you talk about the increasing the outflow, we think of the two Ps. So you've got the cholinergic pilocarpine. Again, sludge cat was our cholinergic cat. And then the prostaglandin, and that's what the PG is for. And then the F2 alpha, that's the receptor. So the PG F2 alpha analogs. So latanoprost, there's some other ones, but you can see the prost ending uh, that helps you with that one. So again, the endings on these really help you distinguish alpha agonist versus beta blocker versus carbonic and hydrase inhibitor versus uh, maybe a prostaglandin uh, analog. All right, so getting into the much bigger ones, uh, and we're really just going to focus on the indication, the mechanism, and the adverse effect. Uh, the alpha agonist bromonidine, that's, you know, it's open angle glaucoma, and that's kind of a thing to take home, which is some of these are for open angle, some are for closed, <clears throat> some are for both. Its mechanism is to decrease aqueous humor and increase aqueous humor outflow, so it'll do both. Uh, but you really have to watch for hypotension and then fatigue. And uh, what really might help you with this is that clonidine has those issues. Um, you know, clonidine is that one that uh, kind of stopped the faucet of norepinephrine. And if you look at the endings, the CL of clonidine and the brim of bromonidine, they're really, really close together, okay? Uh, the beta blocker timolol, okay? So open angle or acute closed angle glaucoma. Let me get my head out of the way so it's not blocking the slide. Uh, it decreases aqueous humor by blocking beta receptors, just as it sounds. And a lot of times you can use the drug class as the mechanism. And then bradycardia is really what we're worried about. Uh, again, <clears throat> this timolol can get into the systemic system. C, so carbonic and hydrase inhibitor, dorzolamide, which is the TRUSOP, or the IV acetazolamide. Uh, either of those <clears throat> can help with our open angle glaucoma or acute closed angle glaucoma. It decreases that aqueous humor by inhibiting carbonic and hydrase. And again, so many times uh, the mechanism and the drug class are the same, uh, but watch out, you can get quite a bit of blurry vision. Uh, our diuretic mannitol or osmetrol, I don't want to go into uh, kind of the, the weeds on this one, but it, it's really an emergency drug the acute closed angle glaucoma. Uh, it decreases aqueous humor through a bit of a complex process. And with mannitol, because it is such a potent diuretic, so close to the glomerulus where, where it works uh, in that proximal convoluted tubule, uh, hypovolemia is a real concern. Okay. Uh, the two Ps, okay. So the first P is cholinergic. So pilocarpine or pilocar, uh, that's closed angle glaucoma. And it works by contrasting, <clears throat> contracting, so ciliary contraction to increase the outflow of aqueous humor, kind of squeezes it out through the canal of Schlem. And we want to think about the adverse effects as our sludge cat here. So those are supposed to be pinpoint pupils. I know cats don't really have pinpoint pupils the way humans do, but think of sludge B. So that salivation, the bradycardia, um, but pinpoint pupil pilocarpine you know, I'll say that 10 times fast, that might be an easier way. Pinpoint pupil pilocarpine, pinpoint pupil pilocarpine. Uh, easier way to remember, uh, this is the one that's going to help with um, <clears throat> that closed angle glaucoma by uh, really narrowing the, the pupil and ciliary contraction. Okay. Our second P, P2, is a prostaglandin analog. So it's going to mimic that effect. So latanoprost or zalatan, uh, the indication is open angle glaucoma. Uh, increases outflow of aqueous humor by mimicking the prostaglandin effect um, is an analog. Uh, and then it has this weird pigmentation of the iris or lashes, but uh, again, no, we're probably not going to use it unilaterally uh, because that would make one eye a different color than the other one. 
but uh, again, uh, maybe just a little image here to help you out. Okay, so again, this is for informational purposes only. It is not medical advice. So if you have a medical condition, consult a medical professional. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.